Ian, we're back on the road this weekend with a trip to Stevenage. I guess the lads are in a good place coming into this game. Yeah, a lot happier. I think confidence is is finally starting to build. Um, it's amazing what a couple of results can do for you. Uh, but a tough game. You know, Stevenage is a tough place to go. Um, we need to, you know, mentally be ready for the challenge and hopefully take on the performance from Friday and, and the win from Tuesday into another game on Saturday and, and try and get all three points. Yeah, what sort of a challenge are you expecting from Stevenage? Yeah, tough. They'll be hard to beat. I don't think they conceded many goals, but they're not scoring many either. Um, you know, Alex is a young manager, uh, his first first year in the job. So, you know, Bolton Wanderers are a big scalp for any club, as we, as we spoke about before, and we have to go there with the right attitude and mentality and make sure we start the game well. And if we do and, and perform to the levels I know we can, then I'm, I'm hopeful we'll get three points. Just reflecting on Tuesday's win against Newcastle, obviously the first half, the performance wasn't probably to the levels that, that you wanted it to be, but a, a great second half comeback. Were you impressed with, with the way the lads came back? Yeah, I mean, the, the first half, it was just the goals, really. Um, conceding two really bad goals again and, and giving the opposition a leg up. Uh, but the reaction was spot on. Um, it, it, could, it would have been easy for them to have chucked and thrown in the towel, feeling sorry for themselves, but they didn't. They carried on fighting and to come back from 2-0 down to win 3-2 is, is very good. Was it important to be able to get the opportunity to rest the boys that played against Salford on, on Tuesday night? Yeah, because I think we've spoke about it many times, the, the condensed nature of the fixture list this season makes it tough and physically demanding. Obviously, we're, we're pleased that five subs are now allowed again, so that will help to rest some bodies. Uh, but yeah, they, we have to manage their workload, definitely. Yeah, what's your, your thoughts on the EFL's decision to extend the amount so we can have to five? Uh, yeah, it, it has to happen. Obviously, the amount of injuries that are happening at the moment um, it's a no-brainer really for it to come in. The frustrating thing is I think it should be the same across the board. I think I believe the Championship can have nine substitutes. Um, you know, it'd probably help us a lot more if we had more options from you know, five from nine maybe instead of five from seven. But as I said, I'm, I'm pleased that we've got five because it will help rest some bodies and hopefully prevent some injuries. When it comes to team selection, does the fact we've got a game on Tuesday and then a game on Saturday, it's a busy schedule, does that come into your thinking? It has to, it has to because again, what we're asking the lads to do and how intense it is, it's physically demanding. Um, so we have to guard against fatigue, definitely. And that's why it was important on Tuesday for the other lads to show what they're about and, and what they can do because they are going to get chances to play. We can't pick the same 11 week in, week out, not with how tight and compact the fixture list is. You just can't physically be able to do it. So it's important for them to push the lads in the starting 11 and make sure when they get the chance they take it.